Hi there and welcome to the Explaining History YouTube channel and uh, as you might have seen on this um, video um, thingy in the last few days I've been talking about um, the origins of particular ideologies such as nationalism and liberalism so now I'm going to talk about conservatism where does it come from it's important at this point to try to kind of perhaps divorce yourself from what we know of as being conservatism right now and also, you may be watching this video in a country where there is a Conservative Party. Here in the Great Britain, we're ruled by a Conservative Party. I'm talking about conservatism as an ideology. Um, often you find Conservative Parties who do things that don't really actually look very much like Conservatism at all. Okay, so... Conservatism is really a product of the 18th century. The kind of founding figure of conservatism wasn't actually conservative at all. He was a Whig. Um, a, uh, later, the Whig Party merges with radicals into the Liberal Party. But the founding ideologue, really, of conservatism in the late 18th, early 19th century is a chap called Edmund Burke, a British parliamentarian who looked at the French Revolution in horror and said um, the French Revolution will not bring liberty, it will not bring equality, it will bring mob rule. And conservatism essentially said that revolutions are bad things, that revolutions should be um, avoided, and that the existing social order um, should be conserved, and that perhaps there is scope for gradual change over time, but big, significant changes are bad things. If you look at in the, the 20th century, um, the Conservative Party in Great Britain, and particularly the, the Republican Party in um, America, which is a big part of the Conservative movement in America, but not its, in, in its entirety, the kind of the article of faith between both of them was that they were democratic and gradual and moderate uh, outposts within a sea of revolutionary and reactionary ideologies, Nazism and Soviet communism, Maoism, these huge forces which dominated much of the 20th century. And that um, creating a stable society where radical change did not happen was not just simply something that served those at the top, which it invariably does, but was a, a kind of a social good that ran through all of society. And that there was um, no, that, that whilst there was a, a hierarchy to things, and that they were rich and poor, and rulers and ruled, uh, with many conservatives, it didn't justify some of the iniquities of say for example the slums of of victorian london that kind of thing so essentially conservatism in, in a nutshell sought to conserve you found in europe in the 19th century democratic conservatism in the guise of great britain and also autocratic conservatism in the guise of countries such as the russian empire and the austrian empire both Russia and Austria, after 1815, appointed themselves all the way through to the Crimean War as the kind of the policemen of Europe, the um, country, the empires that could put down revolts in places like Poland, should they um, emerge. And the, uh, the, that, the conservatism of um, Russia and Austria was distinctly intertwined in Russia with the Orthodox Church and in um, Austria with Catholicism. Um, and revolutions, as the French Revolution had shown, um, were a distinct threat to the sanctity of the, the Church. Um, and the popes um, were quite happy to embrace conservatism throughout the 19th century. So, in a way, the... French Revolution, which is this big bang of political ideologies from liberalism to nationalism, is also kind of the generator of conservatism as well, because conservatism is born in reaction to it. Now, this is just a very short guide to the origins of the ideas of conservatism. Now, there are umpteen different kinds of conservatism, and certain conservatives who you could argue 
are extreme radicals, not conservatives at all. So that's just a kind of little, um, a little kind of sketch of, of conservatism. Um, and we'll return to this um, um, in the not too distant future where we try to disentangle conservatism and what we understand to be liberalism now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you on the next video.